Well, well, uh, welcome back to the next part of uh, how I make a knife. And basically, where I'm at is um, the handle. Of the knife. feeling when you get to this one. Next to last step which is uh, fine wire wool. Last step. Oops, come on Ben, out you come, come on. The, uh, extra fine wire wool and now time to see if we're going to get anything nice out of this green. Don't get me showing. It's a lot longer to polymerize. So whereas I can put a coat, I can get the coat, I can coat this up in about a day and a half. Oh well, I'll see if I can get it into the light. That should look quite nice. And I'll give this a good rub in for a few minutes. And wipe all the excess off. 
and leave it to dry. So here we are, last stages. Um, so they, the handles had its uh, three coats, initial coats of, uh, of uh, Danish oil with the required gaps in between for it to polymerize and then I leave it for a couple of days to ensure that it has polymerized before the finishing step. So we'll crack on. <laughs> Basically the handle finished, to make sure I get all the, uh, the little bits of residue off and then basically the last stage there I use a little, uh, little bit of canova wax which just helps to give it a just nice, a nice tactile feeling and finishing off. I've also started making a slightly different strop as you'll have noticed rather than what you usually see which is a big thick piece of wood this is actually a much thinner piece of plastic and there is a very spe specific reason for that apart from the fact it's a lot lighter in your pack so it means I can take a full size strop when I go anywhere what I recommend people do is just go back to this side put it in the palm of the hand and then just by applying nice firm pressure you're actually putting a slight bow in it which is the way you can actually use this if you're doing a uh, if you happen to be doing a convex edge anyway and then just half a dozen strokes in each direction or a dozen or so maybe even got some muck on there from somewhere and you're almost starting to introduce a tiny micro bevel so even, even on micro bevel standards it's going to be pretty small there we go we'll get the old yellow pages out it'll be much thinner I say really the only thing this is for this would just let me just let me check that I haven't left any burrs or nicks or anything on the edge and the idea is just to pull it through nice and slow and you're actually trying to feel if there's any burrs or anything on there and if there's a bit of a burr or anything like that left on you, you'll feel a catch it might be tiny but you'll feel a catch so that just lets you know that you've actually done enough stocking so happy with that that'll do i think so and uh well try and get a decent bit of light Her she blows. Keep moving around, get a bit more light. Oh, there we are. Focus. So, yeah. With that. Well, I hope you find that as uh, interesting and hopefully informative as I found it hard to put to blood together. As you've noticed, this you might have seen you've seen different knives and different handles, and that's because I've. Um, different times when I come out to the garage, sometimes I've got a lot of time, sometimes I haven't. So I've actually worked on a couple of separate knives. The actual one I've, you've seen, you saw me with the handle, is actually going a bit of product testing. So that's actually in use here. So this was actually a piece of um, stabilised walnut, 
that I did and it's a very similar knife to I'm using the same knife down but I've done this in 2 mil and it's 25 mil wide so it's quite a bit smaller so as you can see they're basically the same sort of sort of thing but uh, just with the this is actually just a much lighter version and it's just the sort of thing I prefer for what I do so but that was the other knife that you saw being made and that's actually on my belt for various reasons and I'll put a video about why um, I don't always walk around with a knife on the belt, although I would if I could. So with that, I will sign off, and I hope you've enjoyed the... Uh, it's rather long, but there's, I haven't even managed to get all the processes on that, and I know for a fact once or twice I thought I'd filmed something and I hadn't, so... But that uh, gives you a pretty good idea of uh, what goes into making a handmade knife. So with that, I will uh, sign off and uh, catch you on the flip side. Oh.